A William Jewell football player has been charged with trying to sexually assault a teenage girl. Junior defensive lineman Blake Brown was arrested yesterday and has been suspended from the team. Sanchez Shabir has new information tonight on what happened. Krista, first a warning to our viewers. Some of the details in this story are very graphic. This alleged sexual assault happened the night of Valentine's Day and involves Brown and two teenage sisters. According to court documents, Brown had sex with the older sister, then tried to force the younger sister to perform oral sex on him. At William Jewell College, more than 100 football players are wrapping up one of their first practices of the season. Missing from the team is junior Blake Brown. The 6'3", 230-pound 20-year-old was arrested Monday for trying to sexually assault a teenage girl on Valentine's Day. According to court documents, the victim's older sister, who was also listed as a teenager, let Brown into their Clay County home at about 10.30 that night. The statement says Brown and the sister had sex in the basement. Then Brown told her to go upstairs and get her younger sister. Brown allegedly demanded the younger sister to perform oral sex on him. The statement says she tried to run away four times, but Brown blocked her from leaving. The statement also says the older sister sat on the younger sister, but eventually the victim was able to escape. The next morning, according to court records, the older sister reported the alleged sexual assault to a school resource officer at Winnetonka High School. This is a very serious charge, and we take it very seriously. William Jewell Director of Athletics Darlene Bailey was first told about the case Monday and suspended the defensive lineman later that day. Our response is to, for the safety of our campus, the, our student athletes and those kinds of things, we want to do the right thing and also protect the student because it's a charge. Now, Brown paid his $5,000 bond and was released yesterday. His, court ne his next court date is on September 20th. If convicted, he could face four years in jail. Sayed Shabir, 41 Action News.